question I have is how do we get a less robotic effect with joystick movement? Now, he has the HD Joy G3, so there might be some differences there. In the G4. Well, you know, the serial connections, by the way, are very low latency. So the joystick itself is sending commands very quickly to the joystick. There's no network in between, right? There's nothing point to point in between the joystick and the camera. So the latency is incredibly low. If you are trying to make it look more like a camera operator, then what you're going to want is you're going to want to either play with the, basically the speed options, the pan, tilt, and zoom options. Uh, also, with the serial joystick, you also have the ability, there's two other options here, is if you're using presets, right? PTZ camera presets. Those can often look robotic. I think that might be what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. There's a setting on PTZ Optics G2 cameras and the new ones where it's called motion sync. And it synchronizes the motion between the pan, tilt, zoom position here and the pan, tilt, zoom position here. So that instead of, and if you have an older G2, you might experience this, uh, panning, tilting, and then zooming, it actually triangulates the two positions and goes in between all of that and goes directly. It looks very nice. It tries to finish your preset, panning, tilting, and zooming all at the same time. It takes some, actually, trigonometry to do that. <laughs> Our engineers know trig. <laughs> 